Hey you guys, so I am just filming this randomly because I've noticed that I film a lot of videos and then I end up never editing them or posting them because I get lazy and then also I just like freak out and I'm like, I don't know if I should do it. But anyways, that's why I'm filming this directly in the YouTube app. And also I'm gonna try just filming when I feel like it. Um, as opposed to like trying and like scheduling things But I just had boba and apparently every time I fucking vlog now I'm like drinking boba But basically um, This is from Bon Bon. It's a really popular spot And this is my number two location After boba guys so the taste on this one is amazing, but today I decided um, I can't go there anymore because basically um, not only is it not like completely like, as I mentioned, Bobo Guys is like really clean and just very fresh. No additives or really anything like that. They make all their flavors in-house. Um... But this one, it tastes amazing, but I know they're not the same. And then another thing I don't like about this place, their ice is really small. And it goes through the boba straw into my mouth, which is not okay. Because, like, when you're chewing the boba, then you get ice. So that is a huge thing. I don't know why they even do that. Um, and then the other main issue I had with it was... What was my other main issue with it? Oh, yeah. So the cup size, I get it. They're trying to be, like, interesting and whatnot. But, like, this is not okay for cup holders. Obviously, it doesn't fit. And it's, like, sp like almost spills everywhere. So I can't go there anymore. And I have to stick with my OG, number one, Boba Guys. Um, they have a location in North Hollywood. And they have two more in LA. And they have, like, a bunch in San Francisco, New York. Um... And yeah, another thing I wanted to mention to you guys, I fucking hate driving, okay? I hate driving. I feel like this is a new realization I've had as of the past, like, maybe several months. Um, I just feel like I, I'm a good driver, but when I'm distracted, which is like 90% of the time, I am not a good driver. And I've totaled two cars, um, that was like years and years and years ago, but yeah, and then I've gotten obviously like parking tickets I've gotten speeding tickets. I've hit cars. I've done everything and so Recently, I was driving my brother's car actually because I'm sharing um, Two cars between my mom and my brother and we'll actually get into that later but I was borrowing my brother's car and I don't even like his car. But anyways, I was like next to a column in a parking lot. And when I was backing out, I completely smashed the side mirror. And then like the outer part that like wraps around, it actually fell off. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like that was a big deal. And I just feel like and I also like scratched the side of the door like at the same, um, like they both happened at the same time. So I'm kind of just like at this point, I really don't like driving. I don't think it's for me. Like, do you guys think that's a thing? Like maybe just driving is not for me. You know how like people say, oh, well, school's not for me, but I, that's actually, I don't even believe that, but maybe driving is not for me. Like maybe I'm just not the type of person that needs to be on the, like needs to be behind a wheel. I really do think that. I mean, again, I'm not a bad driver. I think I'm actually a pretty good driver when I'm paying attention. You know what I mean? So I don't know. What do you guys think? Like at this point, I don't even have a fucking car. So it's not like I even I don't know how I'm getting into all these situations. But like, I don't know, like, this is crazy. And, I mean, I got a bike recently, like, a year ago, and I've literally touched it, like, maybe 10 times. And I just feel like maybe LA is not super bike-friendly. Just whatever. I don't know, man. 
I really want a Tesla, you know, they have auto drive and I feel like that is something I can actually make use of. Like I would totally pay extra for that and I just put in my address and then they take me. So I don't know, like what can I do about this? Like I just feel like maybe I should, like maybe there should be a service for people like me. Definitely not Uber because like, I mean, that's going to add up. But maybe, like, you should qualify for some type of program where, like, if you don't, like, have the capacity to drive, then they just take you around. What do you guys think about that? I don't know. I'm, like, just... I don't know what to do anymore. And, like, I feel like people don't want to give me their cars. My friends, some of them don't even want to ride with me. Because they've said that I drive really crazy. So it's like, I don't know. So they prefer to drive usually. And I mean, I have had a lot of close calls. And like I've said, I've totaled two cars. But those are actually both really interesting stories. Maybe I'll just mention it really quick. But one of them, they were both like when I was around like 1920-ish. Um, and one of them, we were going to drive to Santa Monica. Um, and we like hit the freeway and I was going to go get gas. So I had to get off the freeway and it was a curve. And both of my totals were actually on curves. Um, you know, like when the freeway curves. So anyway, we're getting off and I guess I was going too fast on the curve. And we like pretty much went over like the actual like little dividing curb thingy. And I hit down like a a little sign a big sign actually and um there was like i saw this lady on the other side going onto the freeway and she was like mortified at like looking at what's going on and my friend was right next to me and her glasses flew off and like all this crazy stuff and then we finally back then there was no like iphone so we were kind of trying to like find a tow truck and stuff and finally i found one long story short like that finished and then my second total was we were coming back from like downtown la like from um some parties kind of thing really late at night and this friend that i was with actually I personally believe she has like a curse with like being a passenger because she's been in well this is like from a long time ago I don't even talk to this person anymore but like this person basically was a passenger in like at least six of her good friends' cars when they totaled their car and clearly that night it was my turn so I don't even think that was my fault I feel like it's her fault but basically what happened is like I hit another curve and then all this stuff happened and then this guy because I was like beyond the curve so when the freeway people are like going that way they wouldn't see me because I'm on the other side but my car was like done so I was just sitting there and she got out to try to like push the car so we could get it to the side and right when she was doing that a car came and like hit me really hard um because again they couldn't see me when they're going on the on the curve so I like basically went forward like several hundred feet or whatever and then all this stuff and yeah that was my second total so anyway the point for today's story is that i am a shitty driver when i'm not paying attention and i feel like maybe driving isn't my thing like why do we feel like driving is a thing for everyone i mean i used to laugh when people were like like 25 or fucking almost 30 and they don't have a license and i'm like i literally had my license since i was 16 permit since i was 15 so i literally cannot relate with that but then i'm thinking like maybe they're smart maybe they're like understanding something about themselves that i clearly am not so anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments and have a good day everyone bye